What's up everyone? This is the Wabi Classic and today we're going to change out the bar tape for some more comfortable bar tape. I've also got these gel pads that I'm going to put underneath the bar tape just to give me more cushion for going over bumps, especially around my area. And I got some nice new Super Caz bar tape, which I'm psyched to install. And I've had this bar tape on this bike for over two years, so it is well overdue. Let's get right into it. All right, first thing we got to do is take the electrical tape off. All right, there we go. And now we also have to peel the rubber piece on the hooded lever back. And we could just go ahead and start unwrapping it. It looks like I already have some sort of a gel tape under here. I totally forgot about it, but this bar tape is so old, barely feel it. Now here's a part where I normally get very frustrated with. So I like to rewrap this a couple of times. The hardest thing about wrapping bar tape is we don't do it all the time. We don't do it every day. And then when we do it, we tend to forget how to do it. I wonder if we can keep this. Let's go ahead and let's peel it off. Maybe use it for another bike. Seems pretty okay, but since we got new ones, we'll go ahead and see how the new one, new one feels. It looks like this just goes right there. So let's go ahead and take it off and we'll, we'll just set it up. It comes off nice and easy. Also, these handlebars are looking pretty good. I don't see any form of sweat, no oxidation. We're good. Let's mock it up right there. Oh, it's got a little bit of a sticker, stickiness to it. This should be a little bit more comfortable than the old one that we just took off. I don't want to stretch this out because then we're going to be stretching the cushion out. Not something we want to do. The important part is right over here, right by the hood, right by the lever. That's where a lot of our weight rests. We really want to make sure that we get it really comfortable right here. I want to go ahead and just secure it first with electrical tape. Okay. Cool. Just, I don't want to move, I don't want this moving around when I install the bar tape. So, and this is a pretty critical area. So we got to do what we got to do. All right. It looks like the bottom portion goes right here. Is it really needed? Probably not. I'm going to put it on just so that it feels nice, honestly. Put it right up against here, right up against the underside of the lever. You can see I have, this is old bar tape. I used to have the Lizard Skins bar tape in this black camouflage color. Just reusing it. Put these on just to hold it in place. Makes things easier. And we'll put one more on just so that it's not flopping all over. Wrapping bar tape is tedious enough. We don't need to add to it. All right, we're ready to wrap, wrap it up right now. Let's take a look. Super Caz. And you can see, got the oil slick, the oil slick. I think it'll look pretty decent with the dark blue bike. So decided to give it a shot. Nice little bit of a contrast. If it matches the color of your bike, the exact same color of your bike, it might start to look pretty weird. But because it's a bit of a brighter blue and the bike is a darker blue, figured why not? All right, now I got to think about this a bit. If I wrap it this way, it's going to go round. Yeah, I think we want to wrap it this way. doesn't really make much of a difference, honestly, to me. But it's good to try to wrap it in a way that works. There we go. That's what we want to do. We want to do it a little bit angled. Actually something I never did, but I think you're supposed to do that. So far so good. It's a little tricky over here, but we got some good momentum going. Now we 
have to, this is the tough part. This is the tough part. Got to put it all the way over here. Yeah, this is the tough part. This is the tough part. Really got to curve, curve as you wrap it. But I think we got it. Again, I'm not really looking for perfection here. I'm more just looking so that it doesn't look like absolute garbage. Right here, it does look like garbage, honestly. Let's see if we can do that again. Let's see if it works. So we can make it look a little bit better. If we go this way. Oh, yeah. Okay. Maybe if we go this way. We don't have to double wrap underneath the hood. We can just. That's better. Glad I did that. Look at how much better that looks. You still see that, but again, we're not looking, or I'm not going for perfection. Maybe you are, but I'm not. See, Something stuck in the fork leg. I actually, I like to go a little bit heavy over here, so we're gonna try to double it up a little bit. Although we do have the, we do have the uh, cushion underneath it. Getting it tapered a bit. Trick that I've seen proper mechanic, proper bike mechanics do is they just taper it right here. That way it looks nice and symmetrical. And now we've got to go ahead and just put the put this stuff on it. So let's check it out. Hmm. I think we open this part first. Stick it right there. This is like stylish electrical tape. All right, one side done. Feels good, looks good. Very nice, very, very nice. I hope this doesn't move. No, this doesn't feel like it moves too much. Now I gotta do the same thing on the other side. I really like this bar tape too, the black with the red stars. Just add something nice. Nice little accent to the bike. Looking at the handlebars, I don't see any oxidation. I don't see any damage. These are cheap bars, but they're great bars. Change your bar tape every year or so, especially if you're riding hard, just because uh, you never know what's going on underneath them. Could look good on the outside, but on the inside might be a different story. See, handlebar looks nice and clean around here. We'll knock it up, goes just like that. Nice up close and personal with the brake lever. Lay it on, lay it on thick, lay it on thick. Electric will take time just to set it. Set it and forget it, as they say. Might have to go a little bit shorter over here, but again, we're not looking for perfection here. We're just looking to have it not look like, we're just looking have it not look like absolute trash and to get the job done. Right, get the bar end out while we're thinking about it. Putting the scissors in my jean pocket. I hope I don't hope I don't rip my jeans. Should be okay though. All right, it's fun time again. Last time wasn't that bad, honestly. All right, which way are we going to wrap it? Yep, we're gonna go clockwise. Gotta start it off good, slow and steady. Slow and steady. Doing good so far. Where is the bar tape? 
the extra bar tape. Here it is right here. We got to put it under here. This is going to be challenging because this bar tape seems to keep wanting to fall off. So we just got to do our best. All right, it gets a little tricky around here. I think we got it though. We got it, we got it. Right up and around. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. I like to build it up more over here. That's where your hands usually rest, right on the corners and in the hoods. So you really want to build up the cushion around there. Although you don't if you use the uh, cushion that I have, you don't need to do that as much. And we're almost at the stopping part. Hope I got this right. Very nice, very nice. Looks good, feels good. Let's get that electrical tape, that nice electrical tape. And it's stuck to itself. Beautiful. Didn't want to do that. I guess the other way was the right way, huh? Yeah, it looks like I didn't do as great of a job with this electrical tape on this side. Not as neat, but we'll have to make do. So that's it. That's the new bar tape on the Wabi Classic. What do you think of the color? I wasn't 100% on it at first, but honestly now seeing it, it looks like it does contrast nicely with the dark blue frame. That's one of the best parts about having a dark blue, dark gray or black bike, you can really play around with the color accents on the bars, even on the top cap like I have right there, that red top cap. You can really have a lot more fun with it, but then if you get tired of it, switch it back to black and you're right back to just a super subtle all black ninja bike. That's going to do it for this one. Hope you enjoyed seeing how I wrap my bars and I hope it helped you. Most important thing is just to go slow and definitely use some of your old bar tape, especially just getting a feel and just getting reacquainted with wrapping around, you know, doing all those figure eights around the hooded levers. Hope it helped. Hope you enjoyed it. And as always, thanks for watching.